Hi everyone, welcome to the 35th session of Python for Machine Learning. In this session, we will learn about Python's cross. The cross tab is a method of summarizing data in tabular form. It will display the data where we will have the category in the left side and the summary columns will be displayed in the right. And using the dot plot method, we can plot the graphically to visualize the data. So let's start. We have our pandas data frame and we will import our library uh, and we will import our dynamic train data set which I have got from Kaggle.com. So what is the info? We have, got, we have uh, the different data set. Now, if you want to go to represent this in terms of the cross tab, we have to simply use, we'll say the name of our object of cross tab is cross tab is equals to dt.cross tab. And then we can find the relationship between the P class and the gender. So what we'll do, we'll give df type cross tab here we can see we can see that uh, from the p class one the number of female who the number of females were 94 and number of males were 122 similar for the rest of the classes now if you want to display this uh, this representation of data in terms of the graph i suppose say in terms of the bar plot so what we will do we will say cross tab one dot plot then what is the kind of plot that we want to display which is a bar plot what is the stack type we give it true then further we will give We'll say actually grid is equal to false. We'll also execute uh, what is grid and how to how it will display. Now if we execute this, we can see that the data our like this data is being replaced in the, this data. Number of P class, how many have survived and how many like uh, how many uh, candidates in the ship were uh, female and me male in the first class similarly for the second class and the third class now this is displayed it is displayed here now suppose we want to find the relationship between uh, for the p, p class and the survive so what we'll do we'll copy this give cross to is equals to we want to find the relation between the p class and the survive now this cross tab should be one so you can see in the p class one uh, zero here zero means the person is not survived and one means it has survived so like for the first class 80 percent have not survived whereas 136 have survived but you can see this for the third class 372 percent has survived this is a huge number which has not survived now if you want to display this in terms of the bar plot so this is being clearly you can see the maximum number of people who have not survived in the ship is from the class now what if we give this grid as true so it will come with this line this square okay so now what we will do we will take example wherein we will deal with the name of the person present in the ship suppose this is our data set so this is the name of the like travelers in the titanic ship okay but this mr this title does is ha it has ad important so we will find it out okay okay now what we'll do we'll work with the title and we will get it extracted what we'll do df title is equals to df and we, from where we'll extract we'll extract it from the name name column in this data set and we will use the string and we will use a typical uh, regular expression so now uh, df title column is prepared we have created if we want to uh, get the unique values of this column is df okay these are the unique columns. now if you want to get the count of this unique column then df dot value counts you 
can see the Mr. Miss, Mrs. Master. It is quite repeated quite number of times, even doctor. But uh, from here, Colonel till uh, till the end, it is being being repeated very less number of times. Okay. So what we'll do for uh, like uh, Mr. Mrs. Master, we'll keep the name as it is. But for the rest, we'll make it as very rare. So what we'll do, we'll uh, rename those values. Okay, now if we give the same command dot unique, we can see still I have now. Uh, The number of times this value is being repeated is see this m miss and ms will be the same m m e n uh, is uh, nothing but the math so what we'll do m m e and ms uh, will replace with the misses and like this way will do that so df title and then we We have this Mr. Mrs. Miss Master very rare account. What we have done here, this we have done this mistake. It should be counters. Okay, now what we'll do? Okay, now we have this Mr. Mrs. Miss Master very rare. Okay, that is fine now. Now what we'll do? We'll create our object of the cross tab. Cross tab three is equal to the dot cross tab, and then we will uh, pass in the DF title. Okay. The DF sub. Okay, so we will view this DF cross tab. you can see the number who has survived based on the title now if we want to view it in terms of graph we have to simply take this So in this way, we can represent the title of the person like who has survived or who have not based on this cross tab representation. So thanks a lot for watching this session. If you feel this video is helpful, please comment and press the like button and also subscribe to this channel. Also, if you want me to cover any other topic, please post in the comment section. Thank you.